Hey, Low Winners! Low Winners! Six here with another video. We're gonna talk about the prevalence of Chinese religions, or are Chinese people actually religious, right? Now, that's a very difficult question because you have a lot of Chinese people in different places, and the political situation influenced all of that, right? <laughs> You know that feeling when you go to work and you do your 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, and then your boss says, great job, you put in some extra effort this week. Unfortunately, you're not going to get paid. Yeah, that's probably not the case for most people, but unfortunately that is the reality for many of us YouTubers. Demonetization is a pretty sucky feeling. Thank God there's companies out there like Dollar Shave Club, who thankfully sponsored this video. I love these guys because they put out a really convenient and awesome product that, which means that I don't have to go out and buy razors or shave butter or shampoo or body wash and so much more. You can customize your package, add what you want, let's say shampoo, and remove what you don't want, let's say you have enough razors this month, and you get exactly what you need. Try out dollarshaveclub.com slash 86 and make your life easier, all while supporting the channel. Thanks, you guys rule. There are no shortage of temples in Taiwan, that's for damn sure. So we found this little thing outside this uh, really cool temple, actually. And it's going to tell us, you know, it's got your nishu uh, shama, right? It's what animal are you, right? Yeah. So it's going to tell us what animal we are and what we should look for this year. It's not just a general horoscope, mm -hmm. right? So what do we got for us? We are a uh, tiger, am tiger. I correct? Yeah. Okay, read it off for us. Where's our, where's 86? What the heck? I don't think the year is... Is correct. That's correct. Like, do you know like Taiwan have their? Do they have their own year? thing? Yeah, they have their own year. The more you, the more you know. Okay, what about us? Read us. Oh, so, so apparently our fame and the money will all come. Fame and money year. this year for Lao Eighty Six. Yeah, and money is good. Oh, but you might have a little accident. <gasps> my daughter broke my nose. Uh, or the bone is to the cartilage, she separated that. And uh, I just threw up blood. So it's just blood rushing down my throat. So that means like, you are everything you're all set, but probably you have a little bit problem. So like you need to find like specific people to like point it out, what's your problem and ease your thing. Well, now you know guys. So basically your job in the comment section is to point out our faults. <laughs> Point out no, what's wrong with you us. You need to have the like a super religious people like. Okay. Religious. Well, if you are super religious, then you're gonna help us out, right? And that's basically our topic today. So first off, by and large, we're gonna talk about mainland China because that is what we are most verbose and we know most about, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As we walk through this really really cool area. Anyway, um, first off, religion was like in any communist country, kind of stopped by Chairman Mao. Okay. Yeah. Chairman Mao was like, religion's bad. He adhered to Leninist and Marxist theory and he said, religion is the opiate of the masses. We need to get rid of it, per se. This is like the coolest street art I've ever seen. And it's right next to this temple, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and this whole area is just bloody awesome. I sound like Winston. Really, really cool vibe. These people are shooting music videos and stuff and it's just such an awesome place to be. But, um, religion. So when Mao stamped out religion, people were executed, people were put into labor camps, all that kind of nonsense, right? Mm -hmm. But before that, I'm going to ask you, a hey, mainland girl yourself, mm -hmm. before all of that crazy stuff happened, what religion were Chinese people? Like what, what is a Chinese religion? We have a lot back then. We got Taoism, we got um, Buddhism, mm -hmm. and then the, uh, what's it called? Uh, some somebody, uh, some of the people believing Huan Yin, which is uh, a, a god that is a woman. Right, and that's really popular in like the seaside villages and no, stuff. No, not seaside is also called Ma Zhu. Mm. Ma Zhu is like Ma Zhu, yeah. in Hong Kong and Macau, and also it, especially in Taiwan, also they're really popular because like Ma Zhu is uh, it's literally like protecting all the fishermen to have a safety uh, like. You know, back then you can't predict the storm and everything. It can protect, uh, like protect. Uh, you know, they can protect you, be safe home. That's like right. the most important thing. So uh, we we kind like the, you know the 
southern area is like that. You know, all like you need to go all the way up there is Mongolia and all right. those, this different religion. That's, Bu that's Buddhism up there. Yeah. Um, and of course, in the western regions, you had Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, technically, hey, so <laughs> technically, uh, it's like Taoism and uh, Buddhism mm -hmm. is really popular here. So when all of that stuff transpired and everything was kind of squished and smashed, hey, buddy. Um, what did people do? Like, did people just completely give up and say, hey, now I'm atheist, or did they hold on? They kind of still hold on to it, but the traditional tradition kind of like gone, so you don't know who is legit. Right, who. right, right. So, for example, like my family, because we are from Guangdong, right. we keep claim that my family is super religious. Right. So far, I still don't know we're Dao or <laughs> we're Dao or Buddha. Right. So, um, we we either go to like the Buddha's temple, or also we also go to Dao temple. Like depends on my parents' mood. Mm. And uh, like by the time my grandpa died, so nobody will actually know what to do because they have a lot of ceremony things. Right. We need to hire those like simple because right, right. which is like you know those the, those like professional tell you how to do that. You burn this and burn that. Put this here. What time do this? And there's, what time there's do actually that? a big market for that in China because people have lost those traditions. Yeah. Whereas you walk around Hong Kong and Taiwan, a lot of people, have, their families have held on so they know what mm -hmm. to do, right? Yeah. You have these never, ads. We never know that. And the problem is like, it's really ironic because like when, in my, when I was really little, mm -hmm. my dad's side's parents died. So it's like we hired them for to do one thing, right? right? And then when my mom's side, my mom's dad died, and then we hire another sample to do the same thing. I remember it's totally different. So, right. So like, what is the real traditional thing? They don't know anymore. But the thing is, like, by the time, if you need to seriously write down on the paper, said, do you have a religious? Like my parents, they used to who used to work for the government. Right. They're not allowed to put down anything. Right. They only said like need to say full time no. And that's what I was gonna say is that if you have to, if you ask your dad, he would say I'm not religious. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He has to say that legally, say, right? Um, I'm not religious. But hey guys. Woo! Hello. Woo! Wow. Thank you. Say, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Um, so anyway, your dad has to physically say, has to physically say that he's not religious because he would lose his job, he'd lose his pension, he'd lose all that kind of stuff. Right? For example, Grace Weeping Holiday. Right. That was like one of our, our, our tradition and that relate with all the religious, like for example Taoism and Buddhism, you gotta do that get your ancestor what are you gonna do like you definitely gotta do the follow tradition so if you're not buddhism if you're not a Taoism, why are you why are you right. doing that then? true true so we still doing those things that like but we need to claim that we're not <laughs> right so this whole idea of like freedom of religion is in the chinese constitution it is mm -hmm. right but for all intents and purposes if you're working in anything related to the government, you're not allowed to have your own freedom of religion. No, no, you're not allowed. So a lot of this kind of, I kind of wanted to bring this up because it was really funny. When you were, the other day, you triggered, uh, you triggered the Amish woman <laughs> in America before we came back to Asia. And yeah. she was like, oh, it's so sad that you guys don't have freedom of religion. And, you know, in some ways it is because freedom of speech, freedom of religion, it's all tied together, right? Yeah. So for, uh, what about for the Christians and things in China? Well, Christianity in China, has always been a thing. Recently, it's getting more and more popular, and it's recently the government's of, cracking down on it. Yeah, it's kind of a cool thing to do. Like, still, like if you're not doing a serious thing, like you try to have a huge amount of gathering and stuff, that should be fine. It's like Taoism and Buddhism. They, they're they're fine. Well, you have like to participate blind. in the state-run church. It's called the Three Selves Church. Yeah, if you're doing that seriously, you definitely get in trouble. You right, know? for sure. And like that's where those underground so churches come in. So that's why, like Buddhism, those kind of thing. Even like the government, the governor, they still doing those. Right, thing. right, right. But they just like nowadays when people like talk, they're mm -hmm. saying like, oh, what's your family's religious and stuff like but that's really rare people mm. ask, even ask about this but even they said that you're not going to get in trouble but if you're doing seriously serious stuff you probably get in trouble 
nowadays older people tend to like it's so weird though uh, in China in Asia in general the people like my parents they're not religious at all when they were young they don't believe in anything right. by the time they get older they just fall for that right away right yeah it's weird that. it's like, like burning they... everything and bird try to learn and try to like latch on something they, they belong to right I don't know what is that deal but like most of my friends parents they start doing that right yeah I mean to, to really kind of make this clear if you look at Chinese people outside of mainland China the majority are deeply religious the ones in China that are deeply religious probably don't talk about it too much um, just because of century or I should say decades of persecution on that but yeah these Chinese religions Taoism Buddhism Confucianism all of these traits and characteristics are, are very strong yeah, still in Chinese we, society we don't say we, we are but we still like really deeply influenced by that right with things like you know Islam and stuff that are all in western regions of China very much being persecuted and cracked down on now as well just like mm -hmm. the underground uh, Christian churches and it's a bit of a touchy subject. I mean, nobody really wants to, in China, talk about this or confront this because cops are going into people's little house churches and shutting them down, and it's kind of an issue. So, yeah, I, think I mean, the Western thing gonna get crowded down easily, though. Yeah, for sure. Especially right now, it's like China's policy right now towards the rest of the world is like Chinese values, get rid of all the Western crap, Western influence, and Christianity is seen as a Western influence, ironically, right? Just like this guy. That guy is hardcore. That's awesome. Look at all these little KMT dudes. That's funny. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please leave a like. Check out patreon.com slash loudy6 for stuff we can't really talk about on these videos. And uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. I want to say thank you so much, Loud Winners. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching, Loud Winners. You can click right below here to watch another Loudy6 video, which comes out every single Wednesday at 1 p.m. EST top right corner you can click ADV China which is me and Serpent Sunday's collaboration channel which you can watch every Monday at 1 p.m. EST and right below that watch a Serpent Sunday video which comes out every Friday at 1 p.m. EST.